And let's just, um, let's have our band in one hand. And then let's stand with our legs and feet about hip width apart. Feel the feet on the floor. Soften your knees and lengthen your spine. Just take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth like you're blowing air out of a straw. Let's do that again. But this time as you exhale, you're gonna nod your chin to your chest. Bring your chin to your chest and slowly roll down like you're peeling your spine away from the wall behind you. Rolling down sequentially through your spine. Take a deep breath. And exhale, draw the abdominals in. Curl the tailbone under. Stack your spine on top of your pelvis. Relax your shoulders, relax your head. And your head is the last thing to lift. Standing nice and tall, take a deep breath. And exhale. Slowly rolling down. Deep breaths in, out. Take an inhale at the bottom. Exhale, slowly roll up. Let's do one more. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Feel this wonderful stretch to the back of the body. Great. Now let's move the spine in another range of motion, and that's lateral flexion. What we just did was flexion of the spine. So let's do a little side bending. I'm going to have you stand on your band <clears throat> with your legs hip-width apart, holding on to the ends of the band. Soften your knees, lengthen your spine. Arms are down by the sides of your body. Now you're going to lift your right arm up. Lift up through your spine and then side bend over to your left. Feel that nice stretch along the right side of your body. Now let's stand nice and tall and let's lower that arm down. So let's inhale as you reach the left arm up. Exhale, side bend over. Inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, lower the arm down. So as you lift your arm up, feel your shoulder blade pull down your back. Reaching up and then side bent over. Now because we're lifting the arm above the head and we have a little resistance in the band, you are actually strengthening your shoulder muscles, also known as your deltoids. Let's do one more to each side. One last time. Good. Now let's take the band and let's draw it up the body and place it in the middle of your band along your middle of your back. You want to feel like your band is just below your shoulder blades. And you're going to hold on to the band in each hand and there's obviously a little bit of um, extra band on the other end of your hands and you want to have a, some tension just to begin with. Now this is called offering and it's going to strengthen the shoulders but it's also going to help you connect to your back and it's also going to strengthen your chest. So we're going to reach the arms forward, make sure that your wrists are long and notice that the palms are facing each other and then you're going to bend your elbows, elbows are going to hug the sides of your ribs. So take a deep breath and exhale, reach your arms forward like you're offering something to another person. And then bend your elbows. So as you reach your arms forward, feel your shoulder blades pull back and down and then bend your elbows.
Let's do this twice more like this and then we're going to add a little rotation. Now when we rotate the spine, you want to make sure that you keep your hips quiet so your pelvis is going to stay still as possible. So we're going to reach the arms forward. I'm going to open up my right arm and I'm going to turn from my waist and look back towards that right arm. And then I'm going to draw that right arm forward and then bend the elbows. So we take a deep breath and then exhale. Inhale, let's open up the left arm, reaching back with that left arm. Exhale, draw the arms forward, facing forward. And then inhale, bend your elbows. Exhale. Inhale, twist to the right. Exhale, facing forward. Inhale, bend your elbows. Exhale, reach out. So this also invigorates your spine, but also strengthens your obliques too. each side. And bend your elbows. Good. Okay, so now we're going to take the band and let's place it in your hands. And now let's work on strengthening your rotator. So your rotator cuff are muscles that are along the back and your and your shoulder blade and these are the muscles that help the this joint this your shoulders uh, rotate so we're going to hold on to the band with the palms facing up and you want to draw your elbows in alongside your body and draw your shoulders back and down and then from here you're going to have a number enough um, tension in your band so that you are starting with a band that's slightly taut instead of really loose, but you really have to listen to your body. So you're going to pull the hands apart, feeling the external rotation of your shoulders and feel all that activity along your shoulder girdle and your upper back muscles. And then you're going to slowly return. Take a deep breath and then exhale. And then inhale, return. And exhale. So again, keeping the elbows in tight to the sides of the ribs. Try to make sure that your wrists stay nice and long. And again, feeling that stability and strength in your shoulder girdle. So if we're strengthening the rotator cuff muscles, and extending and um, not extending rotating out this also is going to naturally stretch the front of the body if we're strengthening the back of the body most likely the front of the body is lengthening in some way let's do this twice more one more time excellent relax your arms shake out your shoulders so in this workout whenever you need to shake out your shoulders or even shake out your hands because we're holding on to this band with our hands and it's really strengthening our grip as well so whenever you need to take a break take a break okay so now we're gonna do shoulder shrugs so let's take the band again stand on it <clears throat> standing with your legs about hip width apart and holding on to the band so that you have a enough resistance that's comfortable for you and the arms are going to be nice and long and we're going to do some shoulder shrugs so you're going to draw your shoulders up towards your ears and just pause so when you draw your shoulders up to your ears you're strengthening your trapezius muscles right alongside your neck and your shoulder top of your shoulder and then draw your shoulders down so feel how the band pulls your shoulders down and that stretches that same muscle that you were just contracting so as you lift the shoulders up, you are stretching your lat muscles. And those are the muscles on your back that are just below your shoulder blades. And then you're going to slowly reach down. Let's inhale, draw the shoulders up. Exhale, draw the shoulders down. 
And if using an exercise band is too challenging for you, you can always give yourself more slack or you can just do it without the band. Let's do this three more times. One more. Good. So now let's keep the band where it is underneath the feet. And now just hold on to the ends. And now we're going to do an exercise called front raise. So lifting the arms to the front of the body is going to strengthen your shoulders. So let's do palms facing the sides of your body. You're going to lift your arms forward and up. Arms nice and long. Try to make sure your shoulders aren't in your ears. Draw your shoulders down and back. And then slowly float your arms down. And lifting up. Shoulder height, shoulder width with your arms. And then lower. Deep breath in. And exhale, lower your arms. And again, and lift. And lower. Lift and lower two more one more good shake out your shoulders and arms bring your legs and feet together this next exercise is called standing angel and it's going to take us to where we take the arms not forward but out to the sides strengthening the shoulders again your deltoids but there's also a muscle here that you will also be engaging i believe that's your supraspinatus if i'm my memory is correct i'm going all the way back to massage school and anatomy class in my mind okay so arms are down palms face forward shoulders are down draw your abdominals in and up and you're going to take your arms out to the sides Good, now only lifting up to shoulder height, not higher, and make sure your shoulders aren't in your ears, draw them down, and then slowly float your arms down. And again, lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And as you lower your arms, you want to make sure that you are resisting the pull of the band on the way down, right? So you're not just totally giving into the pull, totally giving into gravity and the resistance of the band. Twice more. One more time. Good. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Okay. All right. So we're back. So let's stand with our legs and feet about hip width apart and let's do spinal cord breathing. Soften your knees and lengthen your spine. Lift your arms. Make sure they're bent and they're in front of you. Draw your elbows back. Open your chest. Lift your chest, your gaze, and reach your tailbone back. Let's open the palms of your hands. Take a deep breath. And then exhale, make soft fists, draw your arms forward, curl your tail under, look towards your belly, exhale all the breath out. On inhale, draw your elbows back, open your chest, and exhale, draw the arms forward around your spine. So make sure that your knees stay soft the whole time, and your shoulders are directly over your hips, and really feel this extension of your spine, and flexion of your spine and with each and every breath that you take you're pouring fresh energy into your central nervous system in your spine deep breath in deep breath out let's do three more Take your time. One more.
Good, and relax your arms down and roll up and stand tall. Now let's knock on the door of life, turning from your hips and your waist side to side and bending your elbows and knock on key pressure points in the low back and the abdomen. Knocking along the kidneys pours fresh energy into your kidneys and your kidneys are the energetic batteries for your body. Now let's tap on the corner of your chest and bring the lungs some love and attention. The lungs draw air into the body and air is the most accessible form of chi that there is. And now let's tap on the top of your shoulder, base of your neck with the heel of your hand. Using an amount of pressure that's comfortable for you but really trying to melt away any stress or tension that you might be holding in your neck and shoulders. Good, now let's go back down to the chest again. And then wrap your arms around the low back and the waist. Now look over your shoulder a bit more and just see if you can get a little bit more rotation out of your spine. Like you're taking your spine and gently wringing it out, wringing out any tension, stuck energy in your spine. Now begin to slow the movement down, slow it down, slow it down until you come to a point of stillness. Okay, so I was just talking about releasing stuck energy in the spine. We can release stuck energy in the body by doing an exercise called chi scattering. So we're going to take the arms out to the sides to start and then drop your arms down. And let, them, let them swing. Now lift your arms up again, but this time as you drop your arms down, you're going to bend your knees and then lift your arms up again, bend your knees and lift. Good, so we're doing this gentle pulsing through the knees and feet and swinging the arms. So we inhale to the center, exhale as you turn. Deep breath in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. It's a great way to release excess tension in the neck and shoulders and upper back. Really let the arms swing. Let's do one more to each side. Arms out, face forward, and float your arms down. <sighs> Good. So let's cleanse and clear the body with another exercise called the pump. And the pump is a medical Qigong exercise that also um, is great for the low back. So we're going to take the arms up to the sky, soften your knees, lift your spine, and then you're going to bend forward, dropping your arms down. Lengthen through your legs, lift your arms up, bend your knees, drop your arms down, and lift your spine. Good, with a little bit more flow. So we bend and straighten the legs, bend and straighten the legs. Swinging forward with the body and the arms, swinging up with the body and the arms. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Deep breath in through the nose, out through your mouth. Let's do three more. One more. Lift the arms up, 
Stand tall and then open the arms out and down. Ah. Let's take the arms out and down. Spread your fingers. Allow your elbows to be slightly soft and draw your shoulders down. Spreading the feathers. So bring your right ear to your right shoulder. And then gently roll back and forth over that shoulder. Keeping your ear close to the shoulder. And feeling this wonderful stretch along the front of your neck and the midline of your neck and the back of your neck. Good, and then bring your chin to your chest, roll your head over to the other side, ear to your shoulder, and pause. And then roll the head back and forth over the shoulder. And with each breath and each gentle stretching movement, just feel the tension in the neck and shoulders and upper back just melt away. Good, then bring your chin to your chest, relax your arms, lift your head, and shake out your arms. Good. Now bring your fingertips to touch and pull the backs of your hands down towards the ground and the fingers point towards you, draw your shoulders down. And now let's bring the ear to the shoulder again. And then from here, you're just going to just draw little gentle circles with your chin. Good, and then reverse your circles. Good. and then bring your chin to your chest, roll your head over to the other side, ear toward your shoulder. And then draw little circles with your chin. And reverse. Good, and then you're gonna bring your chin to your chest. Relax your arms, lift your head, shake out your arms. And then from here, we're gonna do arm circles, which is gonna open up the shoulder and the upper back. So let's lift your right arm up to the sky. Keep your left arm down, and you're gonna drop the arm down, and then reach it back and up. And as you take your arm forward, take that hip forward, Bend your knees, drop your arm down, take your hip back as you lift your arm up. Take a deep breath and exhale. So simple little single arm swings. Deep breath in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Good, now let's go in the opposite direction. So when the arm comes down, the hip is going to go forward, arm lifts up, hip goes back. One more time. Good. Let's lift the other arm up. Now let's go forward with the hip, drop the arm, bend your knees, <coughs> reach back with the arm, lift up and over. So you really want to find this drop with the body and the arm and the suspension at the top. Excuse me. One more in this direction. And reverse. Good. 
And notice that when I lift my arm, I'm not lifting my shoulder up to meet my ear. One more time in this direction. Good. And then relax your arms down. 